previously on The Creation of Us. Jenny Lee spent the weekend getting ready for our big trip to Florida. She thinks we're just going to visit family, but I have something planned that will blow her prenatal socks off. We're here in Florida to visit some of our very close friends. Some of Jenny Lee's family lives here. Our chosen family lives here as well. And we actually got together here in a lot of ways. We got married here, we moved in together here. So we're here to just kind of reconnect with that, remind ourselves where we came from, where we are now, and, and share in some joy of, of the new baby coming our way. Jenny Lee thinks the plan is to visit her mother and reconnect with friends and family. So the real plan for this weekend is to completely surprise Jenny Lee have a surprise baby shower with her sister and her stepsister and my mother and her nieces and my nieces and the whole family's gonna be here and just completely surprise her. She has no idea whatsoever. Hey! Yay! Oh, look at you! You look beautiful, as usual. Little mommies. I was so excited when they told me they were having a baby. They wanted a child so badly and tried and tried and tried. And my daughter kept getting so upset that it wasn't working. And I told her, don't worry, it's all going to happen in perfect timing. I can't even believe this happened. I'm still in a little bit of shock. I thought I was coming here, you know, to do a little interview with my mom, maybe, and pick her up. And the way that they uh, did it, where the different people came out one at a time, it was just like one shock after the other. Oh, you want to turn around? Yeah. To the right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen my mom and sister in a year, and it's been 10 years since I saw my stepsister. It really warms my heart to see how much they put into celebrating our baby here in Naples. My family clearly loves this baby so much already. It's so nice to feel this kind of support from them. So I knew that my mom was coming, but Jane Lee didn't know, so that was definitely a surprise for her. For me, it was just nice to be able to share something with my mom. I live in uh, Oregon, she lives in Long Island, so to be able to share a part of the baby, baby's journey, you know, before the baby's actually here was really special to me. You know, my mom is a really big part of my life, and so I felt, I felt really happy that she was able to come, share in this day, and kind of be a part of the, the baby's, you know, beginnings. I am very excited for them to be having this child. And even though I'm far away, I hope that I'll be able to Skype and see them a lot and maybe go visit more. <laughs> Just tell you, did a good job. Yeah. Lots of phone calls, lots of texts, trips to the bathroom so you can make the phone calls and the texts. Mm -hmm. Jane Lee and I are having a baby and it's not in the way that many people would call traditional. I'm on social media, I have a lot of exposure in that sense and a lot of people, they don't understand. And when you don't know something or you don't understand something you become fearful of it. I feel like the reason that I don't listen to a lot of the negativity is because you taught me to be a really strong girl. You know what I mean? You taught me to be a strong woman and to not let people downgrade who I am because of their fears of me. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and now after my transition I feel like now I've taken that into my manhood now. But I really feel like, you know, you showed me what it is to be a mom and a dad. Yeah. You know, and I really mean that. Like, not just for this, like in real life. So you cute. Know? Mm -hmm. I love it so much. It's a <laughs> <laughs> I love that. 
to have like our family here in Florida, everyone who flew in and everything like that, it was really great. I mean, a lot of people haven't seen each other since the wedding uh, six years ago. So I feel like it was nice to have reconnections, to introduce people who maybe have, didn't get an opportunity to meet. And so it was really nice to just kind of have our families in all these different categories come together to become one really happy, joyful family surrounded by this one little beautiful baby that's that we're all very excited to meet. I need to talk to you. Okay. Can we go for a walk? Yeah. yeah. Yeah? I'm so proud of your journey and Aiden's. My mom and I have come a long way in growing and nourishing our relationship. It feels like we're finally figuring out how to express unconditional love to each other. And I feel really grateful for that and to be bringing our baby into that type of family dynamic. It's nice that you've always kind of supported, you know, my choices and what I really wanted and needed. And I, I'm so curious to see what, what child is coming to be my child and Aww. your grandchild and just how much lessons, I mean, the lessons I've learned being your daughter, you know, and I feel like Aww. the, child and the parent are equal teacher and student and I feel oh, like yeah. I've, I've taught oh, you yeah. a lot too. Yeah, you know, yeah I have learning lessons. Yeah, yeah, so. And I'm so proud of the woman you've become and a soon to be mommy. Yeah. Aww. Knowing that there is so much positivity in mine and Aiden's life is really everything we need to feel supported in our lifestyle and you know, growing this conscious family that we are growing and are, you know, to follow our intention to live a positive life and to believe in our dreams and believe in the future that we're creating together. So it's just, it's amazing to have people show up and really support this baby. I have my worries as a father, but I truly feel like this baby is here for us, that we will do what we need to do and that my love for this child and Jaylee and I's love for this child is going to outweigh any of those fears or worries and, and I will show up to be the best father I can be, the best husband I can be, and the best person, human being I could possibly be for my family, for our child, and, and for each other. <laughs>